Can you talk about some of the new choices you made with this film, like uh, having the actual web shooters as opposed to the organic? I had, I had a I had lunch with Stanley before I took on this enterprise, and and we were talking about um, uh, I asked him about the mechanical web shooters, and there was uh, uh, clearly a. Uh, there's a lot of discussion amongst the fans about mechanical versus biological web shooters, and, and he said something, I mean, he is an advocate of both. He's a very sweet, generous man in that way. But I asked him why he did the mechanical web shooters. He's like, well, it's a way to dramatize Peter's scientific ability. And I thought that was a great way to, to work on that. And I thought that was, that's really, what, that's really what it was, is that this kid making stuff up. And like, there's that DIY, sort of punk rock, do-it-yourself kind of aesthetic to Peter Parker that I really liked, and I thought that was a part of that. Gwen Stacy is such an iconic role in the, hit, in the folklore of Spider-Man. Uh, did you do any research in the comic books? Did you read anything to kind of, or did you take everything from the script to kind of create the character? Yeah, no, no, absolutely. I felt like there's there's definitely a responsibility there to, to educate yourself on the history of Spider-Man, especially because I, I, I didn't know too much about Spider-Man other than I had seen the first three movies and I had, you know, every Halloween spent time with boys dressed up as him. So uh, I... Uh, I definitely wanted to learn about Spider-Man and about Gwen, but also just kind of about the Marvel Universe and the whole, you know, the, the world that I was about to enter into. Um, so absolutely. But then we also built uh, Gwen, you know, with Mark and, and with Andrew and kind of figured out our Peter and Gwen and their story. You have so many villains to choose from, the pantheon of characters. Why the lizard? Uh, the lizard, because the lizard is an embodiment. Like, there's, there's a part of the story is, is uh, you know, it's about finding the missing piece. Right, Peter Parker uh, had his parents torn away from him when he was a when he was a kid, and that left a sort of void. And, and Kurt Connors has this arm that he's searching for, and 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 it's how you try to fill that void that defines yourself. And these were foils and two two parts of that um, of that thematic journey. And I thought it was a, a it was a great foil for Peter Parker. And I, the other thing I liked is that he's. He's both a mentor and an adversary, which I think is an incredibly complicated, interesting kind of mythology to deal with on, a, on screen or in any sort of narrative uh, arena. 